today I have so much that I need to accomplish. So being prepared is vital and it's something that I had already been thinking about the day before, um, just a lot going on. And so when we have those days, just making sure that everything flows smoothly, at least being able to plan certain things because you know what to expect in those days, it makes a big difference. So that's what I'm doing today. So let me kind of walk you down my list of things that are just going on in my mind right now that I actually need to sit down and write out just so I can verify that everything is like I'm going to have enough time and all of that. So even before I had my morning coffee this morning, there were so many different things that I, of course, have already accomplished. So right now I'm setting my hair because it's such a windy day and I want to have a nice hairstyle, um, which means that I need to pin my hair back if I'm going to have that. Having my bangs kind of hang out would be fine. Um, because those are pretty much, they're pretty easy to, you know, just brush to the side if needed and just kind of straighten out. But I also received a lot of questions from my last video this week to share the hairstyle that I was wearing. So I thought today would be a good day to do that since I need my hair pinned back anyway. And it's a pin back style for sure. Or do you call it a pin-up style? I don't know. But that's what I'm going to do. And I already talked to my mom on the phone with my first cup of coffee. But um, anyway, two of my girls have mariachi performances tonight. And it was also a day that I had planned to go and visit my sister-in-law and have tea with her, so I'm looking forward to that. This week is actually like the week that I'm catching up with all my friends. So tomorrow I have um, a, like a manicure, well, pedicure and massage and lunch scheduled with my friend from worship service, another sister in Christ. Monday, I met up with um, my friend Jessica and she also gave me some rugs, which I look forward to sharing with you. I already put them on the back deck. My mom helped me last night before she went back to Lake Havasu. So this morning when I walked out there, it just looked like it just feels like a different place and it feels so much nicer. These rugs I'm going to be able to just wash off, Jessica said. So um, if the dogs, do anything on them, then I will be able to clean them off. But um, I thought, you know, it would be nice to have some outdoor rugs. So she has such a good eye for design that um, it's like she knew that the rugs would really go well with my outdoor furniture. So um, I was very, very pleased to receive it and grateful and especially once um, we got it under the furniture and settled, it just looks so nice. I love it. So a big thank you to Jessica for that. It just makes the whole space feel different. And maybe in the future, I actually might be able to start putting rugs in my house because I have changed up how, you know, I, well, I just don't allow the dogs, especially the ones with that are having accidents. I don't allow them in the rest of the house anymore. They are allowed to be, oh, oh no, I have a little tail hanging out. They are allowed to be in the morning room and that is it, unless they are with us like 100% of the time. Like if someone's watching them or holding them, then they can be in the rest of the house. But that's just the way that it is. And let me tell you, my cleanup time has been cut in half. I feel for the amount of time that I have been spending on cleaning up my home, cleaning up little messes here and there, it has greatly improved and 
I'm so grateful that I've made this change and especially for those of you who commented about that and just how you know you don't need to give your dogs the run of the house it's okay to put them in like just to not allow them to be able to run roam freely so big big change there in my life and they actually spend more time outside playing and i just think that they're they're happier dogs now too so it's funny how all of that works anyway i wanted to set my hair as you could see i have very fine flat hair lifeless hair so when i use my hot rollers this set which i guess i'll try to link this in the description box below when I use my hot rollers, it just adds so much volume and I feel like I can do different hairstyles than I normally would be able to do if it was just flat. If it's just flat, um, if I haven't set it, then really the only thing that I do these days is just twist it up into one of the claw clips and that's about it. That's the only way that I can get it to look halfway decent if I don't add a curl to it or set it. So. Um, this will give me a great base to work with and to be able to share what, you know, the style that I was wearing in my last video. So before we get into that, though, I do want to give you a little bit of a sneak peek because as you can see, I'm in blue. Well, I, maybe I had a little bit, I had a little bit of blue, but not, I don't think it was this blue dress. Um, but I've added blue back into my wardrobe and going into April I'm going with a blue and white theme so here's a little sneak peek of that that's just one side changes a little bit over there but just um, changing up my color story every few weeks has just made me so much happier when it comes to getting dressed in the morning kind of eliminating the feeling of I don't want to say not having anything to wear, but it just makes the decision faster and easier and anything that I have in there is something that I can just, you know, wear. Oh, I did receive a question about the coat that I was talking about. So, and some were asking if I could link it. So the green trench coat that I had on in that video about pulling yourself together instantly that one does not look like this one but this is kind of like a, a coat dress but it's also a trench coat I guess it's considered or a swing trench coat this is by the brand collective and they have a website and um, I think they have this coat available and if they don't have this particular one they have more of like a really swing style one where it's just loose all the way down but they have this in the hot pink i believe they have it available in the hot pink now mind you mine i had altered i had the collar altered because i didn't like how big this part was it, it just it had a weird at least for my head shape my head size i should say i felt that it was a little too small so I had this altered by a wonderful seamstress that I know and I love it. So I pulled this out for this uh, color story, this particular one that I am going with, which is blue and white. And I actually found this suit, the skirt suit that, you know, I found in the navy and I also have in a blush. I found it in white. so. Now I have it in white. It's a size too big for me, maybe two sizes too big for me, but I can easily have my daughter alter it. So that's something, and I can still wear it, but it's just a lot looser than I like for it to be. So anyway, I have changed things over and it always feels good. It feels like I have a a brand new wardrobe whenever I change my color story out. So if that is something that you are interested in, I hope that you will try it out and let me know how it works out 
for you. And actually there's another content creator that um, she tried it out within her wardrobe and it was really fun to watch the way that she incorporated it into um, like her style of clothing and everything because she had a lot of prints. Her name is With Love Christina. So I will link her channel in my description box below, but she um, has a lot of vintage dresses and she just really enjoys shopping secondhand. And if you love thrifting and just seeing, you know, vintage styles, I'm sure that you would really love what she has to share. So I will link her channel in my description box below. Um, while I am waiting for this to set, I need to just sit down and kind of get some things out of my mind. And then I have some work to do on the computer because I have uh, two newsletters that I need to write and then email to my sister-in-law because she's my editor. So um, I wanted to do that as soon as possible, hopefully before she gets up in the morning because I really should have had that done last night, but there was just no way. I would have been able to so well I shouldn't say that I just didn't set the time aside to do it so I need to do that this morning but first and foremost just getting all of this out of my mind will really help me to feel more prepared but also to just kind of calm my mind um, I also have a little bit of a grocery list to make so all of these things I can do in my life book it's time to pull out my life book. One of the things I wanted to share with you was this whole time I've had a 2024 planner that I have been using. I think I'm on year three now with it and it was by Rachel Parcell. And so I've had that in my description box, like a link to it. And I just think her planner is so pretty and beautiful. But guess what? This year, I really haven't been using it. I have been using my life book because... I love that I have the two different months to, you know, just keep things organized. I just feel like it's too much at this point. Maybe you will remember if you have been with me for any length of time that I always had multiple planners going on. One always got more love than the other one did. And that's just the way that it is. And also, I was always trying to keep my professional and my personal life separate. So I didn't like to use one planner for, you know, home life and then for my work stuff. So I am finding that that's why this is so useful, this life book that I've created. And it's something that I can carry with me, but it's the planner that I reach for when I'm at home because it's one less thing to try to have to, you know, copy this over to that. It's just... My mind just needs simplicity at this point in my life, I feel. So that planner, the Rachel Parcel one that I had, you know, that I purchased again, really hasn't gotten much attention, really hasn't gotten much use. And I think I can say that this was the last year that I would have purchased it because, oh, and big news here, I do have the new academic planner for the lady of the house 2024 to 2025 linked in my description box below. I've already ordered mine. Of course I ordered it in a hardcover because I just think that the hardcover ones are the most beautiful and it also had a, um, a new diary that coordinates with it. And I just selected one of the flowers from that pattern, but the pattern is really small, but of course, the diary has a big painting on it, you know, that one flower. So anyway, I ordered mine. And so if you are looking to have an academic planner, I hope that you will check that out in my description box below. And oh, I just, I love it so much. I can't wait to receive it. I'm a little nervous announcing this because I just don't know if there might be some changes that I might make to it, like depending on where the pattern lies on the book itself. So just know that, okay, if you do order it right now, it would be like the first edition of it. 
I mean, I'm not making like first, second, third editions or anything, but if I make any alterations to it, if you order it right now, you will have the unaltered one. I also need to uh, just make sure everything is correct in it. I mean, you know, you go through the process making sure that everything's correct, but sometimes certain things pop out at you when it's in print. So if that happens, I will let you know. I really hope that there isn't. It was really nice that there weren't problems like that with my first life book. So I'm just hoping that I don't have any issues like that with this one. But yes, I'm going to sit down, plan some things out, get some work done, and then we will talk about hair. figure out what I am doing today. So I have some flowers and some snacks that I'm going to be picking up before I go over to my sister-in-law's house. So I just wrote that down. I also want to bring in flowers that are really getting beat up outside right now. Um, the ones that are on my mom's deck. So I'm going to likely just bring those in to my morning room. Um, I was thinking of bringing them into the garage just because it still gets sunshine in there but I want to bring them in the morning room because I just want to put them on the back deck as soon or like in the front of the house I don't know but they're not going to be on her deck anymore since she's away right now and I just want to make it easy on myself to water them so anyway with these high winds that we are having right now I want to just protect them as much as possible then I also started to write down my schedule for today all of those things that are going to be happening in a very short amount of time I haven't put anything in here as far as what I've done this morning like I've already the ribs are just about done I started that at like 8 30 um, so the ribs are just about done. I need to put some barbecue sauce on them, but I have about, I would say 15 minutes left before I'm going to put barbecue sauce on them and then finish that off 
and then that will be ready for the kids once they get home. But like I said, a lot going on. So I'm going to be leaving here at noon. That way I can make it to Trader Joe's and um, anything else that I need to do while I'm over there. And then um, it's pretty close to her house. So I will head to her house right after I'm done there. And then I'm also going to need to leave her house by 345 to get to the Noche that um, the school is having and that the girls will be performing at. So um, my daughter's, my first daughter's performance is at 430. Then I need to come back home, pick up my other daughter because her call time is at 530. So she wanted to get there a little bit early, but I just have that written there. So um, of course we are pretty close to the school. So I will pick her up, bring her back. I'm thinking that my husband will probably stay at the Noche until I get back with Aria. And then after that, we will just come home, have dinner, and then of course our evening routine. So see, it's not necessary to write every single little thing in your schedule that you are going to be doing for the day, but just those things that it's like you have to get it out of your brain and onto paper. Otherwise, you are just constantly trying to count down the time, working through the time all in your head. So this really brings me peace to do this and it really does help me to feel prepared. My hair has now had plenty of time to set. So it's just about taking them out. I do like to be right by my curler set because my hot roller set, because I just put everything away right when I'm done. I don't like this setting out, you know, it just makes the space feel and look messy in my opinion. So dealing with everything as soon as possible is the best way to go. Okay. You never know how it's going to turn out. Something different every day, I feel, which makes it exciting. It is getting really windy outside. I'm starting to think I might need to wear like a scarf around my hair if I want to have any kind of do left after I do it. Now I have been working on this for, I'm working on this, I've been practicing this hairstyle for the past few days, so I feel like I kind of have it down to where it doesn't take as much time, but some days you have a bad hair day, okay, and things don't always work out, so I'm hoping that this will work out today. So just wrap that up. I have a bottom drawer down here where I put that. Oh, and one of you asked where I keep or where you keep your purse because she was concerned because she felt like her purse would float around the house. And I understand. I understand that issue. If you don't have a place where you put your purse every single day, then it just ends up all over the place and then you have to remember where did you put your purse so having a designated place for your purse is the best when it comes to being prepared and um, I like to have mine up here now I've changed it around from time to time I also have uh, the little jewelry stand the big jewelry stand the jewelry chest that I've put my purse on there as well but I kind of like it in my dressing room I don't know just feels better to have it in here okay so I just finger combed my hair and I have volume now I want to go brush it out and then start styling it here we are ready to do our hair I got my bobby pins you will definitely need bobby pins for this hairstyle and I'm going to start brushing it out maybe a little difficult for me to do in a viewfinder so if I'm looking over on this side it's because I can't see what I'm doing in the camera so brush it out first 
sometimes I'll spray a little bit just so that it can kind of tame some of those flyaways. Oh, but what we are going to need to do for sure is to tease. So I comb back my hair. We'll start up here. I'm going to do a little bit of combing back, back combing. I need to get the crown for sure. I recently learned that I'm saying the word often wrong. I would always say often. So if that was something that was bothering you that I said, I do apologize. I like learning how to pronounce things as I frequently mispronounce words. So I had a viewer share with me that she said that um, Try pronouncing it that way it's the King's English or something but when I looked it up even in the American pronunciation of it it was I think it was often a f f and the King's English or in you know with the British accent I guess it would be often often or often but the T is silent. So I did not know that, but now I do. And I feel, I feel good knowing that now I know something that I didn't know that I was mispronouncing, you know? Okay, so we have some volume. It's possible to get some volume if you have thin hair. Just set it, set it and forget it. Just kidding. My hair requires a lot of effort to look effortless let me know if if you can relate especially if you have thin hair okay so here's the trick for this style and of course every time that i do this style it looks different so i'm going to try my best with remembering what my hairstyle looked like although i can tell you right now that it it feels a bit frizzier today than it did in that day that I actually did it. Okay, so the trick first is to get the front of your hair to look decent, like to shape the front of your hair first. So that's why I am going to kind of pin it back like this, but of course I'm going to leave some of this out, okay, because just because. So I don't want to pin back my bangs is what I'm trying to say. Something got in my eye. So anyway, I fold back like in it of itself, in itself, I fold back my hair and then I'm going to pin it with a bobby pin, but I'm going to try to not make a, a gap or like where you would see the scalp. Because you know how you can do that with a bobby pin? Like it's too tight or something or it just moves the hair too much. So that's what I try to do. We're not always successful in this. But we try. And sometimes, like I said, this, this does not look right. Like that. That didn't look right. Okay. Come on. Time to be serious here because we don't want this to take forever. I think that that's the main thing for me when it comes to doing my hair. I want a style that doesn't take a long time. Oh, oh no. The oven beeped, so it's time to put some, is that right? Sounds like there's a basketball or something being dropped outside, but okay. I am gonna need, I need to go and check on those ribs and put um, some barbecue sauce on there put it in for another, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, and they should be good. Okay. Okay, this does not feel secure enough, especially for windy day. I'm gonna go do that, and then I will come right back. I'm back. Okay, for real this time. Okay, let's start on this side. So, 
We want to leave some bangs out there. But we want to get this done, pinned to the back, nice shape, okay? So I'm looking over here, pinning this back, trying not to make any any sudden moves, no, any um, spots on my scalp. Hmm. I wonder if that's how I had it or if it was a little lower on my ear. Let me see. In a mirror like this is really, really good to have. This was actually my Grammy's mirror. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay. Then we're going to do this side. See, I'm already getting so many flyaways. Basically, in the wind, just pull your hair completely back. I'm going to go to all this effort and then it'll be a mess by the end. Not if we use a scarf though. I feel like that didn't go in right. Okay, well, I don't see scalpage, so that's good. The only thing I see is some up here. That's not bad though. Okay, I think we're doing well. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty pretty good. I would say that looks kind of good. Does it look like what it looked like in the video? Maybe not, and especially not with this thing right here. That is crazy. Okay, now here's here's what I did, and full transparency. When I do a video where I'm just talking to the camera, I really don't even care what the back looks like. I'm just trying to get a certain look for the front. And that day, that's what I did. So looking back, I don't think that the back looked that great. And when I've been trying this every day, it's hard to get the back to look good. So there is that, but we'll try here. And maybe you, maybe you will like the back and maybe I just don't like the back. I don't know. So anyway, what I'm going to do is just kind of follow the pattern or the curl pattern. Maybe that's the right way to say it of my hair. Just kind of twist it into itself. So that hair that I'm twisting in is then going to create the illusion of more hair. Okay. And then... We're just going to try to pin this. Why does this feel like I'm doing it wrong? Pin this into itself. See, you never know what you're going to get when it comes to the curl of your hair. So I kind of feel like this is not doing, it's not looking like the way that it did when I first did it. It's okay. We're not going to... Oh! Oh no, we're not, we're going to try not to obsess over this, this hair stuff because I think there's nothing worse than just sitting there going over your hair over and over and over again. You know, the arranging of hair, we don't want it to take a lot of time. Not for me. I just remember as a kid, I would get so frustrated trying to do my hair and you know getting it to do or make it look the way that I thought looked nice it was so frustrating so okay I'm gonna try this and trying to get your hair about the same length as the other side that's another challenge so just know that. Okay, this doesn't always work out. It really doesn't. I feel like I did a better, <laughs> that one just completely fell out. I feel like I did a much better job of this yesterday. Let's make it work. You can do it. Come on, Curl. You, I believe in you. It's such a pretty curl too. 
Sometimes when my hair starts doing something nice, I think, why am I doing this style when it looks, when it's looking really good with the curl, you know? But. That, feel, that feels like it held on well. I feel like saying, good for you. Good for you hanging in there like that. Hmm. Not bad, not too shabby. All right, so is this similar to what it was? Okay, now the problem is the back. I'm afraid to show you the back, but I will. How does the back look? Really, really weird. Not very cute, in my opinion. Especially just because of the shape of it, you know? Oh my goodness, I lost a whole... I have a tail. I have a tail in the back. Okay, now what I do is I kind of make a line here just where it kind of goes, it, it, where it's indented a bit. I'm not saying that that's a good look, I'm just saying that's what I've done, you know? Okay, that's not good. I have a little thing hanging out. That's my tail. Do you see why I don't care about the back? <laughs> I don't know what to do with the back. We're just trying here to make it look good. Thank you for bearing with me in this moment of me not knowing what to do with my hair at all. I don't like that. <laughs> that looks kind of funny. Oh gosh. And then this popped out. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, I don't know. What happened? Why does it look like that? Ah, we did something wrong. I'm just getting frustrated at this point because I have all this gapping here, so. But do you get the idea? You just pin it. This is supposed to look more volumey right here with the fold over of hair, but it's just poking out there and I don't know what to do. And this is starting to fall now too. I'm just, I'm falling apart here. And I bet many of you are getting a kick out of this. I don't know, ladies. What can I say except that we all have our bad hair days and this kind of feels like a bad hair day today. I just want all of you to know, I am no expert when it comes to hair. Sometimes things work out great, and other days it's just a huge mess. I'm just going to stop talking now because now I'm annoying myself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just envisioning myself losing my marbles on YouTube. <laughs> You do not want to see this side of Nikki. <laughs> it would not be inspiring. You just have to laugh. You have to laugh at yourself, seriously. Like, hair is not that important. Important, people. It's not that important. Hair is not that important. Can we just get it together, ladies, please? This is poking out so much and this indents so much and I'm just not loving it. Not loving this at all. And there you have it. So basically what this is kind of like is a victory roll, you know? the victory rolls that they did, just turned under and kind of pinned up. I'll show you the back. Please don't judge. So that's the back. 
and we just did our best to pin up that little tail that I had back there so anyway it looks great from the front I think the back can use some help maybe the side could use some help too but um, that's it so that's how I did my hairstyle and like I said I didn't worry about the back and it can be really quick and easy to do or depending on your curl pattern for the day it could potentially be very very frustrating and very difficult to do and it may not always be even just like the wings of our eyeliner but you know that happens and you just move along so anyway I really hope that if you were looking for a new hairstyle something a little bit more classic something a little bit more polished then maybe this would help although maybe you could polish up the back a little bit more than I can and now I need to um, I did take the um, ribs out put the foil over it again and I'm just leaving it in the oven so I turn the oven off and that way it just stays warm and um, once the kids get home they can snack on them or just you know we will be eating them for dinner tonight so that's it that's what I wanted to share with you today I really hope that this inspired you in some way I want to get outside to get a few of those things done right before I leave so I'm also going to be clipping a couple of roses from my garden because um, a few of them have bloomed already I am getting so excited because the rose bushes look so healthy. They have grown so much in such a short amount of time and they smell amazing. So I will share with you the little, little arrangement that I make today. I hope that whatever you are doing today, you are enjoying your day and you feel prepared. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of preparation to really feel at peace for the day. So with that, I'm going to leave you here. Thank you so much for being with me today and spending time with me, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.